Now you can see me. Now we can see you looking great. Oh, I love the aesthetic going on here. You look very happy. I am so not technical at all. I So this is like a nightmare for me. I'm like, what button does what? Don't worry, because I've got it all covered. I've got all your photos up here that Ryan sent over before. Um, he was um, sent over so many amazing photos encapsulating all of the variety of things that he's been working on throughout the years behind the scenes. So let's get going, Ryan. So do you want to give yourself a quick intro and tell the students exactly who you are, what you do? Um, so I'm Ryan Steedman. I'm 30 years of age. I'm a hairdresser. I work in a salon as a freelancer around two days a week. And then I'm on set, TV shows, um, photo shoots, fashion week. I just got back from Paris. So a lot of different things in the industry. Oh my goodness me. How was Paris? Amazing. It was so good. The traveling, it gets hard, but the job is amazing. It's when you're there, it's worth it. Just lots of sleep after. <laughs> Yes, I can imagine. You must be exhausted. Um, OK, so um, tell us a bit about your TV work. Um, we would love to know more about what you've worked behind the scenes on. Um, and am I right in thinking that recently you've been working on Love Island? Yes, I'm actually flying up to South Africa on Saturday for the final. Um, so, yeah, I how did I get I basically my first kind of TV job was X Factor. And then from X Factor, it snowballed. And I think it went on to be Britain's Got Talent. And then I got work with Little Mix. So we did the Brit Awards. And then it went on to Love Island. I've done Walk the Line. I've done Beauty and the Geek. I did a lot of makeovers on Beauty and the Geek. Um, I've done, yeah, there's so, so many. We did one, which is Game of Talents. Um, so, so many. Um, yeah. Amazing. I mean, the variety of things that you've worked on is so cool. Um, and you get to travel all over the world because of it. Um, so did you think that you would be traveling this much, that you would be working on these kinds of programs when you were at school? Is, is hair something that you always wanted to get into? I love, yeah, I always wanted to get into hairdressing, always wanted to. I have to say, I grew up in Scotland and I didn't know that for a guy, I thought it was a lot of girls that got into hairdressing. And now I'm in the industry, it's completely different. There's so many guys in the industry. Um, but tea, I always knew about salon. Obviously, my auntie used to get hair done and then she actually didn't like it when she came home. So I used to re-blow dry it for her. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Try and, um, that <laughs> so yeah, I knew her that, it, but I don't know if I knew, I remember I used to watch The X Factor and I loved Little Mix and Leanne had this bright red hair and then Jade had like purple hair. And I used to think like someone's doing that hair and I used to think, Who, how can I do it? So I went, I think I watched the credits one day and I saw it was Jamie Stevens. And I think I wrote a letter to his salon. I think he had a salon in Knightsbridge at the time. But um, nothing ever came of it. But then fast forward like four years and I led the whole hair team on The X Factor. Oh my God, I mean, yeah. that is absolute rise. So cool. I know, it's so, it was such a pinchy moment. I have to say, I think the way how it happened is I moved to London and I don't think everybody has to, like you don't, nowadays you don't have to be in a big city. We use teams from like for the shows and they come in from Scotland, Wales, like the Midlands. So you don't have to, but I moved to London and I wanted to assist Little Mix's hairdresser. So I found out Aaron Carlo, who he was, where he worked. I basically got involved with him and then I had to basically I don't advise this right but one time I had I lived with my manager and I had to call in sick and climb out my bedroom window <laughs> <laughs> well sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do right you gotta do it and um yeah I that's was Little Mix's album cover I think it was for Black Magic maybe um so then from there Aaron Carlo got given the X Factor so he was like Ryan would you work with me on the X Factor so from being on the X Factor 
I then went to work for a guy called Adam Reed, who's in the industry. And Adam had done the X Factor years ago when it was One Direction and Cher Lloyd, but he hadn't done it recently. So he called me into his office and said, you've just came off the X Factor and we've been given it. Would you lead the hair team and we'll help you, but you base you know a lot more of the connection since we last did it. So that's kind of how it happened. Like that's how it happened. And then he had Britain's Got Talent. And then on X Factor, the makeup artist who I got really close with, she was the makeup artist on Love Island. And that's how I got Love Island. Um, and then when you're in when you're in the industry, people will put your email forward or your name forward. I think if you're hardworking and you're a nice person and you're polite, people will recommend your names. Like when the production staff talk or when the execs talk, your name comes up and then people email you and then you take it from there. Oh, amazing. And yeah, I mean, the number of kind of uh, opportunities that have been brought to you through building those networks, maintaining those contacts and just yeah. being a great person to work with. Clearly, it's yeah. got you from, you know, got you from wanting to work with the X Factor to leading the team within four years. I mean, that's a great. Um, yeah, it is, it is so, so crazy. I also would say, I think, obviously, for the students and that hair, the way to start is to get into a salon, like work as a Saturday boy, work late nights. I used to work. My auntie brought me up and she one time was like, you work too much. I any, But I loved hairdressing. So any hour I had free, I would work. I'd be like, do you want me to come in for two hours, three hours? And then that's, I got good at it and I got confidence and I got learning how to communicate with people. And then I think that's what made me be able to move into TV. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, building up those confident, like the skills in order to be able to get the confidence to put yourself forward for things. That totally makes sense. Yeah, um, 100%. And all of the networks that you've got. So obviously you've got lots and lots of networks and opportunities through your networks in hair. But what about all of the people, the other people that you work alongside? So I imagine that the production teams might actually be looking for people to step in for productions Like you have to kind of network with the people outside of that periphery of hair. Right. Yeah, that was something I got used to because when I when you're younger, you think, okay, there's a hairdresser, get to know them, work with them, follow them, get to know them. There's a hairdresser, there's a. And then as I got older and the industry, I started to do more shows and I started to grow. I thought, oh god, it's actually the production staff and it's the execs and it's the researcher. So basically, when I first started X Factor, God, I can't, I can't, I can't remember. I think it must have been about eight years ago, maybe. Um, when I first started X Factor, there was a girl on there and she was a runner. She would just give us our rota, our scheduling, our teas, our coffees. Now she's really high up at ITV and she works on I'm a Celeb and um, Saturday Night Takeaway with Ant and Deck. And she actually put me forward for Beauty and the Geek. Wow. And so did like, you work in America for that? Pardon? Was that in America? No, Beauty and the Geek, we, they filmed a UK version recently in, it was a couple of months, back in September, I think I did that. But I was, I was filmed, I had a mic pack and I had a makeup artist and I did all the makeovers on all the geeks. Did you do your own hair? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my gosh, amazing. That's so cool. What an amazing opportunity. So yeah, um, it proves to you that that Hannah, her fr my friend's name is, she was right at the bottom and she's worked her way up. But by being nice, it, it came full circle. Absolutely. Yes. And that's it. I heard this great piece of advice a while ago, which is uh, if you're nice to people on, if you're not nice to people on the way up, they'll hit you twice as hard on the way down. So that exactly. is exactly. Yes. Nice. Always be nice. Always be polite. Always say please and thank you. And yes, the production people are absolutely um, the ones who you need to be especially nice to, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, and OK, so to all of the students who are watching who would be interested in working in your area backstage, um, what is the advice that you would give to them now as, let's say, like 16, 14 to 18 year old, somewhere in that? What is the advice that you would give to them now so that they could, you know, work towards a career like yours? Mm. I would first of all say do your research. So nowadays, 
you like um, Instagram, get on Instagram, follow hairdressers, find out who they are, social media platforms. You can follow them, DM them, like their pictures, comment. Um, also, the industry.co.uk is an amazing website. And it is some of my friends are on there who are doing amazing things. And you can hear for, like firsthand from them what they're doing in their industry and the career. Um, so that will give you who you need to connect with. Um, the closing credits on TV shows as well, you'll be able to see who the hair and makeup team is on that. Um, but yeah, also get into a salon, I would say. Get into a salon, get sweeping the floors, get making the tea and coffee, get talking to the people because the routine and the skills you can grow from in there, I, I, I basically, I use them every day. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Um, and let's talk quickly about the industry. Yes. Because that is how we managed to get you as a speaker, Ryan, which is yeah. so Laura, who um, created this incredible thing called the industry that you are very much part of, right? Yes. Want to tell us a little bit about what that is? Um, so the industry is just a platform to highlight that hairdressing isn't that kind of, there's nothing wrong with being like, just a everyday salon hairdresser but I think a lot of people we are kind of struggling for apprentices the industry is really struggling for apprentices and younger people to join the career the industry there's not a big pull on it anymore so we're trying to and what the industry is doing is showcasing that there's incredible opportunities and avenues within the industry you could be TV hairdresser, fashion hairdresser, a freelancer, an educator. Um, you could travel. You could be a salon business owner. There's, that's what the industry is doing. It's kind of bringing all these incredible people together, getting them to tell you firsthand from how they, what they're doing, how they got there, and how amazing they are. Amazing. And there is a, the website is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? I feel like yes. I might have actually. Oh, I thought I put a slide up about it. But the website is fantastic and there's an absolutely wonderful very cool looking documentary very short documentary yes. um, about the variety of things that you can do with hair um that you can watch so um are you in i can't remember if you're featured in that were you um no i think adam is featured in there and sarah was i do think they asked me but i think i was away at fashion week <laughs> i think i was like i'm in paris i can't do it but i know um my i used to work with adam and he's on there sarah's on there a friend of mine harriet's on there um yeah there's just a lot of amazing hairdressers on there and that's the thing about the like creative head and the industry and it's such a small network we're very close and we support each each other and then that's the good thing about hairdressing industries you never know when you're going to need someone and how they're going to help you fantastic um okay well i actually also have put the links just so everyone knows in the chat i've put the links to ryan's instagram to go and have a look because i'd highly recommend it there's some really cool pictures on there um, and also a link to the industry um, the platform itself. So you can just click on that, go and have a look, um, see the variety of things that you can do. Like hair is phenomenally creative um, and um, uh, TV and film, they always need people backstage helping with making people presentable um, on screen. So it's yeah. definitely one of the places to go into. It's got loads of jobs available. Yes. Um, Ryan, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the students watching? Any bits of last minute motivation that you'd like to give them? Um, I would probably just say, there's a, there was a question that was like, what would you say to your 16 year old self? And I probably would say, don't stress and plan it too much. Just find something you're passionate about, work hard, be a nice person. And eventually life has this funny way of just putting you where you're meant to be at the right time. Try not stress, enjoy it. I love that. Absolutely. Serendipity is a genuine thing. I do. 100%. It's meant, if it's meant to happen, it will happen. Just be work hard, stay passionate. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much, Ryan. It's been absolutely amazing talking to you. Um, everyone just look for a second at the variety of amazing pictures that Ryan has given us to show. Um, <laughs> some fantastic celebrities that you've worked with here. Spice Girls, big fan. Oh my God, that is the little gay boy inside me screaming when I met Sporty Spice. <laughs> And I've also met Baby Spies. I just haven't met Posh Spies. I've also <laughs> met Scary Spies. Um, yeah, I haven't met Posh Spice or Jerry. Oh, okay, fine. Well, once you've met those two, you'll have the whole pack. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Collectibles. Amazing. Um, thank you so much, Ryan. So fab to talk to you. Um, off you go on the rest of your day. Um, thank you so much for connecting. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ryan.
Okay, take care. Bye.